Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you. And if you have read the title then you know that we are showing off the new Woodland Realm in the 0.3.2 update. Jeez, that's a bit of a mouthful to say. But yeah, so this is the Woodland Realm uh, Elves. I'm so grateful for Rise of Mordor for allowing me to show off these guys in early access. Um, they are obviously like slightly subject to change. But um, obviously being early access, but this is what they're going to look like at the moment, and they do look amazing. Um, so we have like the uh, heavy melee infantry here, the Las Garland blades. These guys look awesome. Look like they come straight out of the Hobbit. Like that's the sort of like art where they've gone for, um, I guess, and they look really, really good. Um, so we'll look at some of the other stuff back here. We've got lots of archers. Um, we've got more Las Garland blades here. We've got um, Las Garland archers, which look excellent as well. Look at those bows. We're going to miss the beginning of the battle, but um, I'm fine with that. It's a 2v2. Um, we have Mordor um, Rune, which is the Eastlings, but they have some new units of their own. So we'll check them out. And we have Dale, and we have the Woodland Realm, obviously, as well. So yeah, these guys look awesome. I mean, I love them. They look amazing. It's I don't know, I knew that these guys were coming for a while, and they just look amazing. These are Lords of Garland. they look just excellent as well. Look at that helmet. That is excellent. The armor, these guys are a little bit more elite. These are the smaller unit. Uh, I think these guys got 100 in theirs. Well, most have like 120, but like, yeah, they look awesome. Then we've got some uh, shock infantry over here. These guys are nasty. I'll just, this is a little bit of a, like... I'll try and get a better view of one of them. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, these guys are nasty. These are the Hall Guardians. Uh, this is a shock infantry unit, but they also kind of like a spear unit. You can see like they've got their really long sort of spear here. Like it's also kind of like a defensive sort of unit because they can form a hedgehog formation. So it's like a shock infantry unit with a defensive capability. I really like it. Um, and they do get some really good kills, or what, certainly one of them does. Then over here in the uh, woods, we do have some. Spears, so some Les Garland uh, spears, I presume. Yes, Les Garland, Les Garland spears. So yeah, these guys are all really, really elite. They're all really nasty. And I start off the battle by uh, firing off a few volleys with some of these uh, archers. I'm gonna get a volley. No, apparently not. But I, yeah, I was just firing off at some uh, vassal Southron cavalry over there. Um, so we'll quickly check out Rune as well because Rune has got some new. Um, some new units before we put it into fast forward, well not fast forward, but normal speed. So yeah, here they are. This is the unit that I certainly identified that was new, is the uh, Clan Guards. So it's like a spear infantry unit that looks very much like the uh, Eastlings from the movies. Like you see them marching into the Black Gate. This is what I kind of imagined them, or well, this is kind of what I got the feeling they were kind of like. But yeah, they're a really elite spear unit, they're really nice. Um, yeah, I'd, they're pretty nasty as well. Oh. Just enjoying Rise of Mordor. They've done such a good job as always. They always do such a good job. So this is yeah for this is for the main mod, not the sub mod. Um, this is also a new map. This is the River Crossing of Poros. So it's kind of like a encampment, and there's kind of like a few ditches with spikes, and you can hold like the choke points. So you can get through this camp here, which I soon find out later on. And then there's like a final defense over here by this camp if you want to defend there. But yeah, so here we go. The lines have finally clashed. Let's see these elves in combat. I obviously will go and show the uh, daily in perspective as well. But, you know, we're here to see the uh, the elves. So it's going to be a little bit janky to start with because, well, there's 21,000 troops on the battlefield. I think, like, Mordor brought a heck of a lot of rubbish. Like, Orc Rabble here, which is getting cut down. But yeah, these guys are insane. Oh. They're also, it's just kind of funny to watch them fight against really small orcs. So yeah, um, Dale over here, obviously. I don't think they've got anything new. But they're just same old, same old. Dale just fighting it out. So yeah, if you're new to the channel... Um, do uh, keep in mind and feel free to support the channel with a, a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and also if you're not new to the channel and you are a loyal legionnaire, then also do the same. If, uh, leave it a like, leave a comment as well, maybe. But yeah, there you go. The uh, orc rabble already gone. No surprise there. They are pretty trash. But yeah, we've got some huge armies here. Um, yeah, there's like 21,000 troops on the battlefield. 
I think artillery's going off. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Artillery coming in. Oh, that's a really good hit on those elves. Oh, jeez. These poor elves. That's not. They don't deserve to die like that. Look at them retreating back to their own lines. They finished cutting off the stragglers, cutting down the stragglers. But yeah, these guys in shield wall. Oh, they're going to be a real tough uh, nut to crack, to be honest. Well, we've got Loki, Rim, Halberdiers. We've got all Var warriors. Yeah, we've got a lot of nice stuff. Orc pillagers, Morgul Legion. They are like the most elite unit I think that Mordor can bring. We have seen them before, but like they do look awesome. Well, m most elite infantry. You could say that arguably that their cavalry is better. I don't know where it is currently. They have servants of the eye somewhere. I think they're in the forests or something. But look at this. Look at all this cavalry that they have coming around here. It might actually be around here. Their cavalry, their servants of the eye. No, it's not. This is all. Um, this is all really uh eastland cavalry which is insane i don't actually i don't know if the elves have much cavalry they have obviously the elven kings which is the only unit i didn't show this is my general um so yeah this is this guy looks it's actually supposed to be thranduil because if that is it kind of looks like him but these are uh, cavalry do look awesome it's silver armor excellent horses armored up as well these guys are really tough units to break they're actually probably one of the toughest cavalry units now, I'd say, in the game. And but we've got a little bit, just a little bit of a charge going on here from the uh, vassal south from cavalry. As they come in. Oh, that was really quiet. That was a. That's like one of the quietest cavalry charges I've ever heard. They got slippers on their feet or something. Yeah, they got they got beaten up. They just did not stand a chance. But yeah, so it looks like the uh, elven front is ever so slightly quiet at the moment. There is more stuff coming forward, but we'll have a look at Dale. We'll see how Dale's coping. I mean, he's doing pretty well as well. He's got really um, really trash stuff coming up against his really elite stuff, really. Well, that's a good hit. Um, you did miss, like, a cow uh, not a cow cavalry, a catapult engagement first. Um, Dale definitely didn't come out on top. I think they lost most of their uh, their artillery to Mordor's. Not to Mordor's, to Rune, sorry. Yeah, these Vassal Salfrons, they're holding well against uh, Dale. Looking good. But this is also a very, very close battle. I'll just, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, very close. Definitely worth checking out till the end. Comes right down to, uh, well, not to the last few units, but it's very, it's like to the line sort of thing. Oh, here we go. There's a massing up of troops over here. So the elves might be in for a, uh, their engagement here. Archers ready. I can hear some loosing overhead. Who are they? Are they the Lords of Last Guardian? They are the Lords of Last Garland already. We've got plenty of reserves here. And here we go. So the spear's ready. They're in their shield wall. Not the best angle. There's a lot of bushes here, but this is one of the this is one of the areas of the heaviest fight. And this fighting goes on forever. Um This whole this whole engagement here. But yeah, so Loki Rim holding against the uh Las Garland. Let's go in a spears. I'm definitely probably butchering that name, but hey. But look at this position up here. Got um, Loki rim archers up here, and I didn't realise that this unit here had been focused down this Let's Garland spear uh, sword. Sorry, down to 16 men. But yeah, this angle is insane. And it's got like a battery of archers up here. And I've got my own archers down here. Uh, you can see that's what they're firing at all the way down there, and I'm trying to uh, fire back up and get as much damage. But he is winning that fight. Um, obviously, so I've just got to hope he runs out of ammo soon, which is not going to be the case. We've got cavalry here. This is what I was meaning. They can come through this camp. I was uh, kind of bluffing that I knew that that was going to happen. I knew that I knew that it could happen, but I kind of had a plan. But I was really just stuck in the open, what to do. But here we go. So the cavalry's going to go around, and it's going to charge straight in. So it's counter charge. I counter charged. Apparently, it doesn't work in <laughs> Rise of Mordor as effectively as it does in 1212. 12-12, it can work anyway. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. The arrows are stuck in midair. Okay, I, I feel like that's a bug that might need ironing out. Um, yeah. But yeah, now the cavalry's going on into my uh, archers. I thought these guys might be okay because they're really heavy. They're like really elite archers. But no, even elves don't like being charged by lancers. So now they're just giving my, uh, my, ar my uh, archers and infantry the run around, to be honest. So that's really disrupted the lines and lost quite a lot of men from that. And look at this unit. It's just got absolutely obliterated. It's going to get focused down on the way. 
So that's a shame. Um, I'm having to bring more reserves across, try and like choke up this point here, because I now realise that it's really a problem. I really should just put one unit and really stretch it out, uh, because that would have been a lot better. But here we go. We've got more engagements over here. We have Loki Rim fighting Las Garland uh, Blades. I'll probably get a new corner on swords, but yeah, that's what they are. I do love the officer like guy. He's like got a two-handed sword. Interested if they'd add in a two-handed uh, blade unit for them. Um, interesting to see. I guess they are, have got the shock infantry, but like that's kind of like more of a spear unit. It's like a spear axe unit. Like a two-handed sword would be kind of cool. I know obviously they're doing a lot of other stuff. I'm asking. Asking for something that possibly can't be done right now. But with your very glances here charging into the back. Um, this is certainly dampened the uh, spirits of this attack, but you know, they're going to break in a minute. I kind of had everything focusing them down. And yeah, I had a bit of chaos. At this point, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, there's kind of a lot of chaos going on here. We've got um, Varag Warriors here chopping down my, uh, my blades. Apparently, uh, axes, I, if I've got this right, shock now does well against spears. Um, swords as well against spears. No, spears as well against shock. Shock as well against swords. And swords as well against spears. Something like that. That's how it goes now. So, yeah, okay, this actually does work. I was thinking shock shouldn't be doing well against swords, but no, it should be. Shouldn't be doing well against spears. Is uh, the case. But, I mean, look at this line. This looks insane. Some of the most elite infantry in Middle Earth fighting out here. And then over here, absolutely nothing. Oh! That was very close. Very close to killing some more. Yeah, we have... Units breaking uh, over here. Dale is doing really well. He's holding with the spears. Really good unit to hold with. I kind of wish I brought more spears because we were defending, but I kind of just want to bring swords. I was kind of had a feeling I was going to be a bit offensive while while also being defensive. I mean, yeah, these orc warriors. They d I'm surprised they've held this long. Held this long. Over here, what's going on over here? Then another little fight and some more spear guards, and we've got orc pillagers. I mean. And more orc pillagers. I mean, in fairness, poor old uh, Mordor's got, like, not the greatest army to try and break through Dale. I mean, imagine if he was fighting the elves. It'd be a bit wor more worrying. But yeah, so the last Garland blades here breaking in the front line. They have actually got through. And here we go. So, cavalry's getting in behind. I am now surrounding this Loki Rim unit. Um, I am allowing myself to get shot at. But look at this formation. This is uh, something that uh, Lolwa, who was playing the... Uh, the Eastlings were saying, well, Rune was saying, this is a blob formation. It kind of worked as well. He's got his halberdiers and like a hedgehog formation. And he's got all his archers, um, like, just over it. So it kind of worked, in fairness. Also, the spears. The clan guards can form, like, a similar formation. That looks excellent. Look at that. Let's take a moment to admire this. Look at those shields. Oh, I love that. That is... don't know why that reminds me sort of like a... Almost like a tower of, like... Of a fortress almost. Like, if I can just get it close to it, look at they even got like the detail at the top there. It's just like bits like and like oh and around the rim. It's just like bits like that. It's just things like that. It's just what makes this mod so good. And there you go, I'm routing this Loki rim unit, but I'm gonna take a lot of damage from being shot in the rear. It's the risk I was willing to take. Because personally, I don't care if uh, they shoot me in the back. They take out one of my infantry units, I trade for one of theirs. But my archers can fight, fight pretty well in combat. I think better than the Loki Rim ones. So if they have just archers left, that was my thinking. If they have just archers left uh, as these things, and I just have archers left, I probably will win that fight. As more Las Garland blades get like nearly hit with uh, artillery fire, and like here we go, more. Oh, is that a new unit? Yeah, Warlords of Rune. Oh, I didn't see see this unit. Wow. Well, let's have a minute to look at these. Oh, they've got like like. Horns on the like the helmets. This is a cool unit. This must be like a exceptionally elite unit then. I wondered why this side, this flank, <laughs> did like broke through, or they tr like did really well. Um, yeah, they have this warlords of rune. These are really cool. Okay, so yeah, it's like a two-handed sort of sword unit kind of cool. Do like that. And here we go. Cavalry's coming through. With a Dale Cavalry Regiment coming through. And I don't know what he's going to actually go for. for but yeah, we have more men breaking. I've got a uh, Shock Infantry coming up here. I saw this I saw this like, another Cavalry charge and I was like, oh god. 
this vas vassal style front cavalry, yeah, it's going to try and go through this, which it will. It goes through this small unit of uh, infantry, which I'm fine with, and then it's falling back. And I've got, here we go, Hall Guardians coming up. They are going to charge them down, but I'm quite fine with that. So we can see the Hall Guardians in combat. See if they can chop down any cavalry. I think two of the units don't do very well, but one of them certainly does. I can't remember. I think the one that's in, that does really well is already in combat. But I'm actually running pretty low on infantry reserves already. I think if the uh, forces of evil had actually focused me down a little bit more, I would have like been in real trouble. Like I've got a bit left, but not masses. Like I've got quite a bit hidden in this forest over here. Well, it's not. I thought it was hidden, but they could actually see it. Like. They could see our entire army when we set up, even stuff in forests, which was kind of, a, I thought was a bit broken. Um, I don't know if that's just something to do with the map, or it's just that we weren't hidden in these forests. They might want to just look at that. I don't know. There's Garland archers here. They're actually obstructed in fire. They probably need to fall back a bit. But yeah, this unit over here is going to focus down. This is Loki Rim Arch as well, and they have a lot of ammo left. So it's good to see that we're focusing them down. The, uh, the mountain uh, artillery spot is a, a lot less. I'm now also focusing down these uh, this cavalry. This is the general. I was like, right, we're going to get this general and we're going to kill him. I've got a small unit of swords in here. I'm going to try and slow them down, hold them up. Probably won't help, but uh, yeah. This general is uh, going to get cut down as he goes. What was this? Oh, I thought this was... The clan guards at a distant like, uh, glance, I thought these were elves again. I was like, what are my elves doing over here? But no. Um, we have now another Les Garland's blade just ready, like, coming back into position. We've got Clan guards coming up. There's so much in reserve. Um, and there's still so many men on the battlefield. We've actually killed quite a lot. They've killed... Well, we've killed 4,000 of theirs. They've killed uh, 2,000 of ours. That's not bad. I think most of them as well are mine that have died. Most of the elves. Which is actually more of a concern. Um, but Dale has a lot in reserve. Um, I think Dale could bring a lot more troops than I could. Like, mainly just because my men were so much more elite. Like, I don't think a single unit is under 1,000. Yeah, don't think a single unit costs under a thousand for the elves, which is great. Um, they are elite, so if you are going to decide to play as like the woodland El woodland realm in a, a tournament or in a battle, you are going to have to remember that you're not going to be able to bring a lot. I think we had thirty k funds, and I brought. Uh, I think I brought around. I think we had about 30k, we might have had more. I thought I had about 31 units, so we might have had more than 30k. But yeah, look at this, the Hedgehog Formation in effect. Not, but the only thing is, I was like, right, this is going to be great for the anti-cav. But now it's going to be a problem. Yeah, they're actually kind of just walking through it. But yeah, then these archers just taking full advantage of it. But I was kind of like, yep, you can carry on walking through, I think. I think they might be engaging, but I was ready to actually flank around and take this clan guard unit out. But, um, because I would, like... They do really well against spears. So spears on the re on like in the rear would be even better. That's what I was trying to say. I was going to say in reverse, but that's not right. Spears in reverse. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, this poor uh, hall guardians. I wish I'd used the other two units just as well as I'd used the first one. The first one, uh, the, or not the first one, the other one, I should say. But yeah. Oh my gosh! Absolute disgusting. Disgusting. And there is, yeah, this one, this is the one that does so well over here. I don't know why it does so well. To this day, it's unknown why it does so well. But we've got some more uh, reserves coming forward. We've got Shipman coming forward. We've got the entire reserve force over here for Dale coming forward. I've just got my general back here, and that's it. I really should send him forward. We need that mobility in cavalry because I'm getting absolutely done in by the cavalry here, like, severely. And I don't know what happened here, but the Varig Lancers just stopped here, and I'm pretty sure I'll get off a couple of volleys at point blank range. Yeah. I don't... I does not really kill many, but it's just more like it hits the HP, damages it. They have got another faction as well. Uh, they have got another faction on the way that is coming. I don't know if I'm really allowed to say what it is. Um, so right now, I won't say. But um, I've been told I'm not allowed to showcase it just yet because it's still a work in progress. But they do have another faction on the way. Um, another evil faction is all I'll say. Um, which I kind of guess balances out. you got another elven one. Oh, that was really close. We have an elven one, so why not have an evil one? Yeah, they're really trying to focus on my archers. Um, I guess because they've got a lot of ammo left. Like, a lot. 
Like, look at this. This one unit here, Loki room. I just like turned around and shot so many times. This, uh, Loki Halberdier, you're thinking, Pope, why are you falling back? But the reason I'm doing it is so they just... I can fall back to here, and I can also fall back to here, and then I can flank with one of these units. I'm also allowing my archers to focus these guys down so much more. And they're going to turn around and just flank my guys, which is perfectly fine, because that's what I wanted. So now I can focus them down, and I can now charge, as you can see here, with my swords. So I'm... And they're not really got the greatest angle. They're not even getting, like, the majority of these elves. They're going to get, like, one or two, maybe. And they're not even set up properly. They are going to turn around and get my swords, but look at that. Just devastated those guys with a volley. Cut them down. Yes. Yeah, and here we go. The uh, Varig Lance is still causing problems. There's like so many of them here. Shipman coming up. I think these guys are coming up to support over here because I'm on a real issue with uh, this campsite. I kind of was like, right, I'm leaving that. I don't really want to lose more men in that camp. Um, here, I also... Yeah, this over here I didn't realize kind of broke and uh, the elves kind of get caught out. But they're archers, so they should do fine. Well, they, hopefully. Um, but we have uh, we have some more... I forgot what these guys are. Dalian Swordsmen, of course. Dalian Swordsmen. I forget they've not got really cool name. They're just alien swords. But they're trying to surround and then uh, I can just shoot them in the back. Which is kind of what it became a bit. I kind of became a bit of support at this point. Uh, Dale was uh, certainly plugging up a lot of the gaps that I was uh, not being able to hold. He also was bringing most of the cavalry, so that was an issue. Um, this was a real, well, not a real concern, but the general's back with Bane the Steps, and I'm not really sure what he's doing, but I got I think all these archers here, they're all focusing down the all, all focusing down the general. Uh, he's losing them slowly, carefully. And here we go again. I decided to do the same shenanigans again and surround this um, spear unit. Uh, it's sort of working, but they're going to lo lose a lot of men again. Oh, yeah. It's actually not going to be from archers. It's going to be from a cavalry charge. And here we go. Oh, my gosh, though. That was a brutal volley. And there we go. Yeah. That is, that is pretty painful. And yeah, th those elves broke. Uh, I don't actually think if anything got out. No, <laughs> I don't think any of them did get out. But yeah, I've got like tiny units holding back this elite clan guard unit. I mean, it's actually losing. But I think that's only just because it got flanked. And here we go. This is another issue. We've got Varig Lancers in here. Like, I was just like, come on. Every time I saw another unit of Varig Lancers, I was like, please, just make this the last one. And yeah, it's going to charge my archers. This is going to be brutal. I was like, lose every volley you've got, boys. Lose them all, and yeah, here we go. It's just better to stand. Oh my gosh, that's actually a little bit laggy. I'm sorry about that. Don't know why that happened, but yeah. Um, so I think I have cap. Yeah, I was like, right, this is it. I've got to get my general up here and start do like dealing with some of these cavalry charges, like because I didn't realize how beefy he was. But this this boy be beefy. Uh, yeah, and we've got more cavalry over here. This is more of a oh no, this is Bane of the Steps here. This is even more of a concern. This is very heavy melee cavalry. So this is. I'd say this one's worse. I fear this one more This one more than I did the uh, Barry Glances. Oh my gosh, this last Garland Arch is absolutely brutalized. They're like already bloodied up so much and they're getting absolutely just destroyed. I did not realize how bad it was, like at some point this was. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> who cares? Over here, we're doing so well. We're killing all these guys. Like, that is a clean sweep nearly across the entire front of unit, lo unit losing. And these Hall Guardians are racking up kills. I'll let you know that. That these guys are racking up the kills. Um, but yeah, then they pull out. I think they really had the beating of us. I mean, the cavalry's here, yes, but... I think they had the beating of us. And now I think I'm going to go and charge down their uh, Loki room. I think I was like, right, that's it. Nope, I decided not to. I probably could have. I probably really could have. But I've got some really depleted Elven units now trying to hold back a lot of stuff. But at this point, I was like, right, I'm going to need some support. Because I'm getting hammer and anvil pretty hard now. It's not my finest game, I will admit. I think I like have a mid-game, I have a really rough time. And then late game, I seem to like pick it up again. But yeah, here we go. What's this? Oh, this is the uh, Ravania. No, this is uh, just the Dalian Cav, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I think it's Ravanian Rangers. No, Dale Cavalry Regiment, of course. Of course, it would be. But yeah, they're actually trying to hold... They're basically playing as infantry right now. Look, because the elves are about to break. 
which is a real concern. Um, yeah, even more and more Dale troops coming over here. I mean, though, at the same time, there isn't actually much rune stuff left. Rune is spent. It's just got his cavalry left, so if we can focus its cavalry down, we can do well. But yeah, you can see this. Their general, I got to seven men and he wouldn't die. I was like, come on, please die. And uh, yeah, I was... Yeah, I just couldn't kill him. Just could not kill him. I was like, well, if I can kill him, then that's just going to end like any resistance from Rune. The shipmen over here now. These guys holding the line with some elven elven boys. I don't know what scenario this would be. It would be like, I don't know, Dale, a daily camp attacked and like the elves are coming to the aid. I don't know. At least these two units are in the same area. Ah, oh, yes, the old stuck-in-the-air arrows again. I think that's just because of the, the, like, the knockdown... Uh, Tents or something like that like the tents are stopping them. I don't know. I Don't know if they can sort that but yeah, that's Hurt my immersion a little bit only a little bit though. It's still looking amazing It's it doesn't look as bad now. It was a little bit uh, laggy at the beginning. I think just because of the sheer amount of units, but uh It looks fine now it also doesn't probably help that I had it in slow-mo some reason it doesn't like it when I put it in slow-mo and then go straight to like normal speed with a large amount of troops. It's just like, oh god, why did you do this? But yeah, my uh, Elven King is now in combat. I've gone fighting these uh, Servants of the Eye, which is probably actually the most dangerous cavalry unit they have on the battlefield, I think. And they look awesome. They do look awesome. Uh, actually, do these towers work? No, they don't. Oh, that's a shame. We've got to deal them with these towers working. Yeah, so I mean, at least Loki Rim's losing here. Um, the cavalry's losing, which is a big concern. I mean, I've got archers going into hold back, like, infantry lines. They should do okay, but I think against Loki Rim, they'll still be overwhelmed. And it's a small depleted unit. But yeah, we'll see see how they do. These guys are awesome. They do look amazing. But we should win over here. Um, swords should beat these spears, even if they are clan guards. They're spears as well. They're like, I, yeah, if I can show you that. Like, look at that. That's serrated. Is that like, that's almost like serrated. Oh, and they've got markings on the spears as well. Just to like help with my like, I don't know, my love for detail. And then the firing artillery. And they were like, yep, yeah, let's just fire artillery in here. And just, I mean, in fairness, there is a lot more of our stuff in this than there is theirs. I've got archers in here. I've got all sorts in there. We are, we are now running out of stuff. Look at the amount of like battered units I have just trying to hold back this area here. Battered units. Clan guards. Loki rim. We've got all sorts here. All sorts. And this front line still hold. These spears, oh, one of them's broken, but one, the other spear unit is still here from the start. And we've got archers here. They've actually got the bows out. I don't think they're even been ordered. One of the bow units has been ordered to go in, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, not quite yet. Oh yeah, it had been. It has its swords out. And then these these whole guardians are at the front. I think they're up to like two, three hundred kills at this point. And they've broken that unit. Now it's just clan guards left. And they're nearly gone. Actually no, they're not. There's 120, but they're losing. And then we've got Loki Rim still coming in. It's insane. Oh, here we go. The battery of archers is opening up again. Just... I hated this. Every single time a volley came from me, I was just like, for God's sake. Just, just That's like another 20 men dead or something like that. Or if not more. I like this point because some of my units are so battered up. The balance of power is still not in our favour. But we have closed the gap. It's massively uh, closed up now. It's like a thousand difference to like, what was it? It was like 4,000 difference. Yeah. It's insane. Um... Uruk Throng, look at that, that's a good hit actually. Just missed that, but that's a really good hit. How much R2 do they have left? Oh, they have the one. They have Arch. Oh no, they have this one as well. Are they gonna fire? Let's have another volley. Have another volley. Are they actually firing at the crew? No, they're firing at Arch all the way by there. Let's get rid of the Bardings. I know that he wasn't happy with like, <laughs> didn't really like the Bardings being here. They are a really elite uh, Arch unit. But surely you want to get rid of these artillery crew, like... Oh my gosh, where's that one going? Oh, that's actually not a bad hit. <gasps> oh, that's ever so slightly missed. I would have actually tried to go for this, and there's a lot of our own troops in here, but that's quite a lot of Loki Rim. 
We're trying to hold it back with bare minimum. Here I go. I'm sending in my general for a great charge into the cavalry. And that should deal with that servants of the eye once and for all. This cavalry is nasty. And I'm glad it is because uh, it's really saved my butt quite a few times in this battle. It's like held the line as infantry. Like where my infantry just disappeared. Yeah, I won this fight here, which I was really happy about. I think I'll beat the Loki room here. Now I can surround these uh, other Loki room. And we've got more archers coming in without, out of ammo. Oh, no. Vayne of the steps. Yeah, this is going to be painful. I know, and he's going to go for my archers. Very smart by uh, by Lolwat. And yeah, he's going to go for my archers. So I'm just going to counter charge and send them in. Like, these guys can't form shield walls. So why, why, why do anything else? And yeah, he's going to go into the next one. I just hated this cavalry. Like hated it with an absolute passion. I know he hated my Hall Guardians and I don't care because I hate his cavalry so much more. Like, infuriatingly. <laughs> it's just so bad. It's like, yep, okay, cavalry charge, that's a unit gone. Just sort of thing. Or like half the unit's gone instantly. I'm just like, I was just like, Dale, please send up more cavalry. We need it. <laughs> just... I need so much more stuff here. I'm running out of units because his cavalry's but I've broken the servants of the eye, which is a huge win. Um, but another one appears. Just <laughs> more. And he's got a general for servants of the eye as well, so it's an issue. What's he got over here? Morgul Legion. Jeez, they're 100. The 220. Wow. That is. That's a big unit. I don't know what unit size we're using, but I thought they were a smaller unit than 220. I don't know. I don't know. They might be. It's probably the reason why there's so many men. It's because the unit sizes were actually bigger than they were supposed to be. But hey. Well, not than supposed to be, but than I'd usually use. Yeah, these Morgul Legion are. Oh. They're slowly breaking through the, spo the spear guard. It's been here since the beginning. Um, but Dale's like lost a lot of stuff behind the lines. He's lost a lot of bardings, a lot of artillery. He's also sent a lot of stuff to save my ass. Um, so you got a very... Oh, Rangers of Ravani. This is actually not a bad idea. Let them come across. Jeez, let them come across and just shoot them in the flank. What is this as well? Orc Warriors. Oh, poor them. Yeah, not a great unit. Oh my gosh, what a volley. And there you go, they broke. And that's that flank basically dealt with. Uh, there's nothing here anymore. Like, either Mordor's got to send more there or just risk the flank from Dale. I don't think Dale's really got the resources to do that, though. But here we go. A big push from uh, the... Rune player, well, lol, what? I think this is his last real big infantry push. He's got nothing else. Like, he's got stuff back here. Actually, no, this is all, um, oh, no, maybe. There's a bit of archers, no, but most of this is Mordor now. But this is all that's holding back. Like, the hordes. It's gonna have to be enough. It's gotta be enough. Um, but there's all this coming over as well. I have got a lot of elven stuff over here that's gonna be freed up in a moment. Like, this is all nearly freed up. I just got this archer unit I've got to deal with. So I think I'm about to shoot focus down this clan guard. Which I just can't get enough of. Oh, that's just not a great view. That's awful. Let's get rid of that. Look at those boys. Oh, that's actually gorgeous. It's just all the little markings. Just all the little markings on there. But yeah, they're just getting focused down. And here we go. This uh, this Hall Guardians unit. That's going to that's gonna do a lot of pain over here in a moment. Oh, it just, this battle was amazing. It's one of the best battles I've had in a long time. But yeah, I'm now setting up my uh, Elven King. I can't actually remember what I was doing with him. I think I sent him out to possibly go around this way. Yes, I was. Yeah, I actually, I remember what I was doing now. They're actually going to pull back their Bane of the Steps. Okay, so they're going to pull back their Bane of the Steps. And they're going to try and go for this cavalry charge coming. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Right into the center. And those guys over there. Look at that man. Look at that guy. All bloodied up. But um, who's winning that fight? Oh yeah. Well, we got. I think we got the better charge off. Um, they're now desperately trying to send stuff over. Like they're trying to send their uh, servants to the eye over. They're trying to send. Um, we, I was like, right, send some Vinland guards round. Because oh gosh, we're actually both losing this fight. Okay, there we go. I'll go back to winning. Um, they're sending some just honor your crew. But yeah, they're trying to get these general, this general unit over here to try and kill mine. Um, so I was like, yeah, if we get infantry here, we can win that fight quite easily. Um, we've got archers coming in here. 
I have some spears that are left. I've got archers just fighting off clan guards and winning. And here we go, hall guardians. We can finally see these guys, the good unit, fight. Uh, not in the forest, which is not fun to watch. Now we can fight them fighting a forest of tents. Uh, your banner bearer probably died a long time ago, sir. You're a very small unit now. I don't even think you have a banner. That'd be kind of cool if they could add banners, I guess, for uh, Mirkwood. It is basically a complete faction now, but if they could add banners, that'd be pretty cool. And there you go. They broke that clan guards just like that. This small unit of 44. And here we go. Moore's going to come and deal with it. I was like... I was... Clearly must have been microing somewhere else. I think I was trying to deal with my general or something like that. Um, or I might have just sent them in now. But I really wanted to flank around and support... Uh, I think I'm supporting... Oh no, support my archers, which are just about to die. And here we go. Um, I'm beating these low-key room. Uh, archers. Just... That's a start. I think... But yeah, these guys just do nasty amounts of work. So much... Yep, more just die. Keep killing them. Stand on the tents, get the high ground, as Obi-Wan would say. I have the high ground. Random Loki rim. But yeah, these guys, oh. I don't want them to get debuffed. I really hope they don't, because they, they are a really elite unit. They can only bring three. So even in, like, my huge army, I can only bring three, and... I think the elves are pretty, like, they're good as they are. They are very vulnerable to some sort of stuff. I don't know. They haven't got much cavalry, the Woodland Realm. I don't know if they're going to get any cavalry, but that's kind of their, like, nerf in a way. That they don't... They have their general, and they have, like, I think the Elven... I think the Elven King has, like... You might be able to get, like, that unit that's not as a general sort of thing, if you know what I mean. So you could have, like, an archer unit instead, or... A, I think you could have these whole guardians as your general. Um... So you could actually bring, like, the cavalry, like, not as your general, but, like, they've not got much. Like, while, like, for instance, Rune has got loads and loads of cavalry. Like, well, not loads, but they've got more than the Woodland Realm currently. So, I think Rune against the Woodland Realm is a very good matchup. Um, certainly if you want to beat them, anyway. And there you go, I've got that cavalry out, and I just, uh... I then started routing stuff over here. I just left this uh, poor Vinland guard to deal with it. I did feel sorry, but at the same time, it's a, I think it's a sacrifice worth doing. It got my general out and uh, kept my army going a little bit longer. Yeah, this poor Vinland guard unit, it's getting absolutely messed up in here. Like, this service of the eye is just disgusting. Because it fights on. Fight on, men. Fight on. And yeah, here we go. So yeah, I route both of these units, well, all three of these units with my uh, with my shock infantry. I mean, it does help that the cavalry just comes in there and like saves the day a bit. But I think I was going to route them anyway. They were both wavering. So this hall guardians break a tiny unit. Thirty-five there is now of them. I think there was forty-four when they went in. Has broken three units that would like must have outnumbered them at least three to one. Um, and then uh, just this small unit over here, really, that's left of rune. There's a few dotted around over here as well, but nothing substantial. It's just like archers left. So me and rune, I mean, we both did really well. Like, credit to Lord Watt. Uh, it was a really tough fight for me. I hadn't played as Woodland Realm before, so I didn't really know what I was doing. But it wasn't anything, like, totally new. Um, but, I mean, well played to him. Like, it was a really well-fought battle. And here we go. I've got my general now in here, uh, facing down the Servants of the Eye. I think my general actually saw these Servants of the Eye as low threat. So, if the Servants of the Eye, these uh, elves beat the Servants of the Eye, that is pretty scary. But we have more stuff coming over. We've got Halberds now. Like, Mordor is now sending in his, like, a lot of troops. This is a bit concerning that this unit's looking the wrong way. Luckily, uh, the enemy hadn't seen this, and they didn't start firing it. This just fresh unit daily in swords. But, um... Dale's been pushed back from his choke point. Dale has uh, been pushed back. He's now got halberdiers in here. What's he got? Vinland Watchman. Okay. Of course, these boys with their woven, woven uh, pikes. They're pretty damn cheap. They're like, I think they're like 600 or something like that. They don't cost a lot. I wish I had units that cost 600 as the elves. That would be scary as hell. I don't know if they'd be any good though. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just having an I was having the absolute time of my life playing with these guys. Like, I don't know what it was. Just like playing as like the elves, like this elite looking elven army. When the other two in like the sub mod as well look great, but I don't know. It's something about like the woodland elves. Just seeing them in the Hobbit as well, and then see, then use, being able to fight with them is just that extra bit of break. Like extra bit. Oh yes, perfect. And there we go. I think I break. Um, I break the uh, servants of the eye, but I lose my general. I'm pretty sure. I think I'm about to lose my general. Yeah, there we go. He just died. I don't know why he died. There's literally nothing around here that he's fighting, and not a single volley came in, like an archer volley. So he just died. So I was like, okay, that's great. So my army is now a little bit weakened from its OPness. But yeah, I've won over here. And I'm bringing what's left of my army to come and fight on this front line, which is desperately needed. Like, it's so close. What's the balance? The balance power is ever so slightly shifting in our favor. But, like, the numbers are very close. It's 2,000 each, um, really, now. And the general Ravanian regents is, like, going in. Oh, my general is getting a really good charge on those Morgul legions. That's huge. And I'm probably going to leave him in here now because the general's gone. There's no need to have him left. Is this another unit of servants to fight? I swear to God. Yeah, this is the general unit as well. They just have more of them. Like, they're just pulling them out of their ass. Like, that's literally what I was saying. Like, it's more waves kept coming. I was like, come on, this is really cool. I was like, oh god, another wave. How can we hold with even less men? It'll be really hard. We've got to just find a way to do it. But we managed it. And certainly at this point was a lot with the help of, uh... With Dale. But, like, with my... Look at these guys. They're so bloodied up, these elves. They've seen so much action, and they're still going. Like they, most of my units are like in the teens, or like there's a few like higher up. But like, I got so many just like holding on so little. Like this unit here, Les Garland Archers, 16, and it's gonna. It's still got ammo. And I'm gonna use every arrow up possible. I don't even know what I'm firing at. I think I'm firing. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is uh, the downfall of Rune's general. Just charges in here. And uh, he was really annoyed because my Hall Guardians get the kill in the end. Um, that unit that's just denied, denied him victory, gets in the kill here. Yeah, there we go. So we kill the general with uh, the Hall Guardians and save those uh, skirmishers. They might actually have broken to those two cavalry units at this point. I was like, this could happen. And here we go. My general, well, the general unit is still in here. I don't even think they've, there's like one of them left. Yeah, there's like three left, and they're still winning. Or doing well. They're on a silver chevron now. It's insane. And here we go. Hall Guardians going in. Going to flank round. And this is huge. Uh, it's still very likely we could win this. Uh, they could win this. They still have their general. Uh, they have a much fresher army. Uh, Dale and I are spent at this point. Like I think Dale's got... Dale's having a few issues on his side now. Um, I'll quickly go into bird's eye. I know I haven't showed much of Dale's fight. I do apologize, but... It's all about the elves today, sadly. Um, but yeah, he is slowly actually losing troops. He's, these archers up here, look at this. They're still firing. Oh, I thought these were Loki Rim for a moment, but they're Uruks. But they are actually, yeah, they're like getting attacked by Spear God, but they're still going to fire, you know, into the flanks and rear of these uh, units. It's excellent. Look at that. These poor Vinland Watchmen. They're actually rallying. They, they changed the... Uh, it's now a polearm unit. Okay, it's not a pike unit. Just realized that. I'm pretty sure it used to be a pike unit, but now it's polearm. I don't know if that's made it worse or better, to be honest. Um, certainly they hold the they hold it like differently, I think. Or is there, it looks certainly looks like they're like the whole pikes a lot shorter, so it might be. Maybe people were thinking six hundred uh, for a pike unit is just a bit too too cheap, so they made it a pole arm unit. Quite possibly. Quite possibly is the reason. reason. He's brought a lot of them as well. Thank God, because uh, we're going to need them to hold that line. But over here, yeah, we're just about winning. Just about winning. And I think, yeah, well this is this was a good sign. The Sims of the Eye is now losing in combat. All I think it helped that the uh, Hall Guardians were in there. I hate to like carry on going on about them, but they really did 
Saved so many flanks for uh, for us. Obviously, Dale as well massively helped. I can't like can't uh, knock down their involvement. They did so much to save my ass. I would have like been in real trouble if they hadn't sent over a lot of troops. Oh, that's the general there for uh, Dale. He's like in his bright gold armor. There he is. Oh, at least I think that's the general. I think he was a Ravanian regent. He's chopping, chopping away at people. There's like all sorts in there. We've got, uh, we've got rangers. We've rangers of Ravanian. We've got swords. We've got all sorts. Just trying to hold them back. Or a throng. And I'm pretty sure the general's about to go. I'm not sure if he's gone yet. Oh, I do apologise. Don't know why I'm yawning. It's like midday. It's actually past midday. And here we go. So there's so's the eye about to go. But it's ever so still, it's still really close to be like Dale is just routing on all fronts. And here we go. Or at throng. Gonna get a rear charge. This is like devastating. And that was a really good hit by the uh, Onager there. And there you go. This breaks all those Vinland watchmen. They just are instantly routed. They're getting cut down. Um, but yeah, they're actually running out of stuff over here. That was actually not a good hit. Actually, I don't know. No, I don't think that did hit anything. Not anything of note. And the Bardings are in here. They're just... But now they can send over some more Spear Guards, like, uh, I guess at least. Now hit... the Honor's just getting dealt with. That's got no ammo left. The other one's got ammo. That's not a bad eh? angle as well. But yeah, it's so close. But we just about won over here. And I'm starting to desperately send stuff over to help. So we've got... Lord, uh, not lords, we've got Las Garland archers still with ammo. They've got like, still like nearly half ammo. Let's have a volley. Volley! Oh my gosh, that was kind of scary. Get out of the way, we're trying to look Ravanian regions, we're trying to watch a volley here. You just disturbed them, they're trying to do a volley. They're not even looking the right way now. That guy just fired on his own. God. Just can't get the staff these days. Yeah, they're actually obstructed apparently, but I don't think they are. It's a clear line of sight to hit anything back here. But yeah, this is actually probably going to wrap up the battle. And just about the Woodland Realm and uh, Dale has beaten Rune and Mordor. It's excellent. Here we go. Good charge actually from the Ravanian regions. Oh my gosh, that is devastating. And then a volley from the Uruk Arch is just, you know, just a reminder that they're there. At least I think that's the Uruk Arches. Yeah, they're still planted up there on that hill. They've actually captured this capture point. Uh, or they nearly did. They're actually not getting charged down, but yeah, let's watch the last little bit of fine. Last bit of fine from the Hall Guardians as well. Watch them do their bit as they are. How many of them are left, actually? I know I'm just tab getting in and out of the hood. 32. They've, like, lost no men in ages. They've lost since that fight all the way over there. Oh. I don't know what happened there. Okay, that was really weird. Uh, that's just... That shows the instability of uh, this mod still a little bit. Oh, there's certainly this update. I did wonder... Well, we did also able to deploy. So we were like, able to deploy. You don't need to move stuff to the front lines, stuff like that now. So that was really good. Uh, that's now fixed in Rise of Mordor. But yeah, all of a sudden it's now just being really, really... Uh, a little bit jag janky. I'm not quite sure why that was, but... Doesn't ruin it, but yeah, what I was saying is like the whole guardians all the way over here. Thirty-eight men were um, were break uh, were still like breaking units, and they've lost five men since they've got all the way over here. I think they went like this way, but yeah, there's bodies everywhere. And like just this battle was literally everywhere. It's like the front line here. There's bodies just literally littered everywhere. It's just a really really good battle. Really really good bodies over here in the forest where we fought for ages. Over nothing, just a flank. We never had to retreat to the final defense, which is kind of good. I enjoy that we didn't have to. We held and we doubled down. We were really like, yeah, we're going to hold here. These Morgul Legion still winning. Oh, what a great hit, though. A last great hit. Final great hit from the Onager. That was insane. What a great way to cap off this uh, battle. And there we go. I think that's going to be the end of the battle, and it's just not wanting to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happened here. Yeah. Okay, so we are back. I'm sorry, that, I don't know what happened there. Just a really bit weird at the end there. It just kind of like bugged out. I'm not quite sure what went wrong there. But um, yeah, that is the end. We did win Empiric Victory uh, in the end. And yeah, those whole Guardians, 
418 kills. I think that's the best unit. One of my lords of Lars Garland got 333. My general getting 179. Most of my elves got over 100 kills. Um, there's a few that didn't get like close at all. Like this one that's got zero kills there. I think I got mowed down by archers. That was one of the ones that got hit. My, but you can see my other whole guardians did awful. Um, so I don't know why this one did different. Like this one was in combat for ages. Which is not necessarily good with shock infantry, but the other two like charge into places and only got four of your kills. So that was really bizarre. But um, yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, TZN, Smokey, Lolwat uh, for all joining and allowing me to use this mod and get early access. Um, I do appreciate it. I enjoy like, getting it ahead of everyone else. It's really, really good. Um, so yeah, we'll quickly have a look at TZN. Um, and his army's got Ravanian Regents. Got 419 kills. That's insane. Most of his swords got over 100 kills. I mean, his Vinland Guards are pretty damn well as well. 321, that's very, very good for Spear Guards. I've never seen that ma them get that many. His two others got, well, three others got over 200 kills. Um, his um, Vinland Watchman only got over 100 kills. Not bad. His Archers, Yard Patrol has got, look at that. Most of them got 300 kills. His Ravanian Regents getting 300 kills as well. Bardings, look at his Archers. Oh my gosh, his Archers is insane. They cleaned up. And his Dale Cavalry getting 200 uh, kills and Leon getting 100 kills. They did insane. Well done to TZN. Did really, really well. Uh, then Lol Watt, uh, who's playing as Rune, did pretty damn well. We just kind of like charged against each other and did a lot of damage. Loki Rune uh, Warriors getting 232s, I think, is the best. Um, some of his didn't even get like very many kills, like my swords. Um, his Varig Warriors getting 213, the best. His Warlords of Rune only getting 84. It's a bit of a shame for a very elite unit. Not actually doing very well. His clan guards getting uh, not many kills either. I thought they were really dangerous. They like seem to be just holding me up for a long time. But um, they didn't actually get many kills in there holding up. His halberdiers only getting 13 kills. His archers, I'm sure these were the ones on the hill. Getting like 188, 277, 257. And his cav obviously did really well. 289, 214. The best there. Um, then Smokey was playing his Mordor. Yeah, some of his units didn't have such a great time. And certainly his first wave didn't. Um, and some of others, but his Morgul Legion getting 250 is not shabby at all. Um, Uruk Throng getting two, 110, 108 is not bad. His Servants of the Eye 185. And his Uruk Arch is getting 198. Uh, and his Uruk Spear is getting 190. But his Servants of the Eye getting his best amount of kills 350. That is insane. They are a really nasty cav unit. But if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more Rise Mordor, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and. Uh, Leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, guys, I will see you guys 